Good morning, Tap Kids. My name is Teacher Alejandro. So happy to be here with you guys today. I missed you guys a little extra today, right? Because I, I remember you guys uh, playing, just seeing you guys worship. I just miss that spirit. But I hope you guys are staying fresh and cool with this hot weather. Um, so today we are actually going to be continuing our study in James, right? So if you have your Bibles, why don't you open them up and I'll read James 4 verses 1 through 4, 6 through 8, and verse 10. All right, let's get started. What causes quarrels and what causes fights among you? Is it not this, that you, that your passions are at war within you? You desire and do not have, so you murder. You covet and cannot obtain, so you fight and quarrel. You do not have because you do not ask. You ask and do not receive because you ask wrongly to spend in your own passion. You're adulterous people. Do you know that friendship is the world is enmity with God? Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. Verse 6 through 8. But he gives more grace. Therefore, it says, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. In verse 10, humble yourself before the Lord, and we will exalt you. So, what is worldliness, right? The first thing James, our friend, warns us about is worldliness, he says, do not let the world tell you who you are or what you are supposed to do. For example, the world will say you are important, that you matter. And evidently that is true, right? But let me tell you guys something. When I was a little kid, um, I have three siblings, so I am the middle child. And if you're the middle child, then you know that sometimes it's a little bit harder because um, you're always you're always getting your brother's extra clothes because it doesn't fit them anymore. So you're the last one to get something, right? Because um, when you ask something for your parents, you're like, oh yeah, not, maybe not, you're not ready, right? So I went through that with my parents a lot, right? Every time I would ask for something, they were very hesitant. And that would upset me, right? Because I'm like, wait, but you know, I deserve it too, right? And I wanted it and, you know, so what I would do when I wouldn't get something, I would like throw tantrums and be like, no, I want it now, you know, because I deserve it. I'm, I've been doing good in school. I've been doing, uh, I, I don't get in trouble. I do my homework. So I felt like there's this, this kind of entitlement, like, yeah, I deserve it because I'm great. I'm smart. I'm doing all these things. So finally they did, they, they gave me a phone and you know, I thought it was gonna make me happy, but you know what, it really didn't, right? Because it reminded me that my heart was in the wrong place, right? I was asking those things like no one else mattered but myself. And that's what James reminds us, right? That worldliness will get to that, you know? Now, James, rem James reminds us that yes, you are important and yes, we matter. The creation story in Genesis reminds us that we are God's most prized masterpiece. We are very, very important to God. But the thing is, when we begin thinking that we are important and we matter, then we begin to make everything all about us. So you, I matter becomes, I matter even more than you and you and you. For example, you know, let's take this book for example. This book, let's just say it's my story. But in this story, you know, there's also Teacher Shireen's story and Teacher Stacy and all of our teachers, right? And I'm turning the page, but then my chapter is really long. And so I start reading, I start reading, you know, I start reading and I'm, you know, reading and reading. And then soon I get lost in the pictures that it becomes to the point where I never really cared about Teacher Stacy or Teacher Shireen, you know? So, this is exactly what James calls selfishness. Yes, I matter, but when I begin our lives with me and not God, then everything about ourselves becomes selfish, right? James calls us to turn to God and ask Him and His wisdom to guide us as we live. James reminds us 
who I am to judge my neighbor in light of what's happening around us, boys and girls. And sometimes selfishness can lead to not caring and thinking about our neighbors. But James reminds us that the wisdom from God leads us to, to true love and honor both my neighbor and myself. And as you guys can see, I am overseeing the city of LA. And there's a lot of things that have been going on around. I know you guys have been hearing the news and you know, with everything that's going on, sometimes it's easy to forget about the things that are going on, right? And it is why, boys and girls, I wanna invite you guys to pray with me for our city, for my city, you know, for peace, for love, for joy, for those, those things that only Jesus can do, right? Because aside from Jesus, there's nothing that we can do. So why don't we close our eyes, put our, put our hands together, and let us pray. Father God, we come before you, Lord, just asking for your protection over the city of LA, Lord. I pray that you continue to just show your um, shalom and your peace and wisdom, Father Lord. That um, people that may be hurting, Lord, I pray that you may protect them, families, Father Lord, and anyone in the streets of a father. Lord, we pray for the power of your Holy Spirit to be with them, to empower each and every one of them, Father Lord, to protect the police officers that are working and the people that are just, you know, upset, Father Lord. We pray for you and only you, Father Lord, for your presence to just overpower everything, Father Lord. Lord, we thank you, we love you, and in Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, well, that's it for today, boys and girls. I hope you guys had a good time. See you guys next week. Bye. Hey, guys, it's me, Nat. Do you remember me from last year in VBS? Well, I'm back, and today we're going to be making all these beautiful cladle people. So let's get started. I wanted to show you guys how God make us all so unique and different with these cladles. So we have here a brown one, and we have here white, and we have here another color brown, a tan and a yellow, red, so many colors. When you meet someone different, that's your chance to tell them about your life. And of course, they will share about theirs. And there, you made a new friend. Oh, this one's unique. So remember, boys and girls, at the end of the day, Despite our height or weight or color of our skin, we are all humans and we all have a heart. So I see you guys next time.